Hi guys, welcome back to the Totally Magic channel and another great card trick for you because that's what we're going to do today. Impress you with a great magic trick. Now this one is going to be a prediction effect and also I'm going to show you how this can be done by you at the end of this video. So do stick around to the very end because I'll show you the secret to how this works. It's called the complete picture and it goes like this. We have a prediction on the table. Yes, we do. It's here in this envelope. And I'm going to actually do something that most magicians won't do. And that's to tell you what my prediction is before we start. Well, my prediction is a card. And in this envelope is a single whole card. There it is there. That's as much as you get. Now, I'm going to leave this in full view throughout. Keep an eye on that. Now, in any card trick, you need a deck of playing cards. And I know what you're thinking, where are they? They're here, right in front of our eyes. In this little container is a deck of 52 playing cards. Not any deck. This is known as the economy deck. It's a miniature deck made up of 52 pieces of card. And just to prove that, let me just show you what we got. 52 cards in here. I want you to give these a shuffle to really mix these up. So the spectator is going to shuffle these cards up. Once they're happy that they're thoroughly mixed in a random order and some face up, some face down, you ask them to tip a few of them across the tabletop. And that's what they do. They will tip a few of the cards onto the table, not all of them, okay? The others we can keep in the container. Are you happy with that choice of cards? Now, as you can see, they are pretty much mixed up. We got diamonds, clubs, some spades, some picture cards, spot cards, everything is there. I want you to have an absolute free choice of any one of those cards, but don't pick one that we can see the face, pick one of those that you've dropped face downwards. Now they will go through and they will pick any one of these cards and it really is a free choice. Do give them the option to change their mind and you'll say pick any one of these. So maybe if we pick uh, any card from here, return the rest of them to the container. Now, you did have a free choice of any playing card from this deck. You chose one card. I even gave you the option to change your mind, but you're happy with that. Yeah. Sitting on the table in front of us all the time is my premonition card, my prediction. I did say in here I had a whole card and I meant that I really do have a whole playing card. Well, when I say whole card, I mean it's got a hole literally through it. There's nothing else in here. That is the only card in there. And you can examine that. The amazing thing is, and remember you had a choice of 52 cards. This card here, if we place it in the hole, it matches exactly not only the pattern, but also the colour. And that is an amazing card prediction. Well, you may think I'm bluffing, but I really did know that out of the 52 cards, that this would be the one that you would choose. Because the card that I picked was the Jack of Diamonds. The card that you picked just happens to be the Jack of Diamonds. And that is a perfect prediction trick. So here is the tutorial and the secret method to how this trick works. Now, it's a bit of an arts and crafts one. I don't normally do this type of thing, but I thought it was an interesting trick to show you how you can make it yourself. 
Now, one of the things about this trick is that some of you may be putting in the comments that we've stolen the idea from Tenyo. Because if you don't realise, Tenyo have recently released a trick called the missing piece. It uses a jigsaw puzzle and it works on the same principle. But Tenyo didn't invent this. This method has been around magic for many, many years. And I've got several tricks that use the same principle. Some of them use playing cards. Some of them use coins. But the method is the same. So this particular one, what do you need? Well, you're going to need a few uh, playing cards. What you need, first of all, is to dig out all your old playing cards. Why? Well, because you need some old cards that you're going to cut up into pieces. And you're also going to need a card that's going to represent your prediction. Now, in my case, I chose the Jack of Diamonds. Try and pick a picture card because it looks better during performance. So I picked out the Jack of Diamonds. However, you need some duplicate Jack of Diamonds. OK, so whatever your prediction card is, you need some other copies. Now, for me, I did have a special deck of cards where there were 52 cards all the same. But you might have some old decks lying around and you might have five, six, seven spare duplicate cards. That's what you need. Why? Well, let me show you the secret first of all, then you'll be able to work the rest out yourself. These cards here that are all face down, if I was to turn these over, they are all the Jack of Diamonds. OK, that's why you need duplicate cards, because you need the same shape cut from those cards. So all of these are the Jack of Diamonds. These other cards, watch what happens if I take these face up cards and turn them over. They're face up on the other side. And that's because we're using double faced cards. Now, magicians can buy these cards from most magic dealers. They're called double faced cards and it's where they got the face printed on both sides. So you need some of those. Now, if you don't own any of those, don't worry, you could actually cut out a regular card and then glue two back to back to make it double faced and I know some of you are saying won't people feel that they're thicker remember you're the only one that's going to be touching the cards that are cut okay so that's how the secret works it doesn't matter how much you shuffle these cards up if I put all of these together and get the spectators to shuffle them, when they throw them out, the only cards they're going to choose are the Jack of Diamonds because they're the only face down cards. These are all double faced, so they're never going to be face down. So now you know the secret to that. How do we make them? Well, to be honest, I used a circle shape because it's easy. And because I went out and bought one of these. Now you can buy this. It's a hole punch that you can get from Amazon. I'll leave the link to this one below here. But if you search eBay or any craft store, you'll find these. They're just a few dollars to buy. And it allows you to punch holes in card and paper. You take some old playing cards and you punch out these cards okay, like that. It's as simple as that. And it punches a perfect circle. If you don't want to spend any money on this, then get yourself a sharp knife. Make sure you got permission from an adult if you're going to do this yourself. And even if you are an adult, give yourself permission to use a sharp knife because you don't want to cut yourself and you can cut any shape out. And in fact, these are available in other shapes as well, squares, triangles. So you could use those as well. But you want all of your little pieces kind of the same shape. This is going to be my prediction card. So what I did, I took my jack 
and I wanted to make sure that all of my duplicate cards that I punched out were identical position. So when I put this in here, I made sure it went as far as it could go and made sure that this edge lined up with the edge of this. I then punched it out, which gave me this particular shape. Then, once I've got my prediction card, I could go and grab my other Jack of Diamonds. Now, I don't actually happen to have any other Jack of Diamonds in this demonstration, but I would grab my duplicate Jack of Diamonds and I could line it up exactly the same against the edge, press that. I could then turn it end for end and do that. So I could get two of these out of one Jack of Diamonds. Okay, and then put that to one side and do the next one. If you've got six, seven, even eight cards, that will be enough because that will give you kind of 16, 17, 18, something like that of these small pieces. For the other cards, as I said, if you've got double face cards, just punch out as many as you can. You can get about four out of each card. If you haven't got double faces, punch lots of them out and then glue two of them together like that. Once you've done all of the arts and crafts part of this, you can take all the cutouts and drop them in here. So don't forget you've got a mixture of double faced cards and you've got the false card. In my case, the Jack of Diamonds appears 10, 12 times in there, and they're the only face down cards, okay, with a back on, okay. Get the spectators to shuffle these, they drop some on the table, and then ask them to pick one of the cards that's uh, face down, so they can go for any card they like that's currently face down, and then that will match your prediction. It's quick, simple, but it's a very effective trick because the spectator will have no idea how he had a choice of 52 small pieces of card and he managed to pick the only one that matched your prediction card. The complete picture. Practice and enjoy.